For well over 10 years now, I've been warning about the dangers of artificial intelligence and the rise of the machines. And years ago, I used to get laughed at, but more recently, many scientists like Stephen Hawking and top tech leaders like Bill Gates and Elon Musk have warned about how artificial intelligence could turn on humanity. But now a group of scientists at MIT are reporting that they have discovered exactly how this is going to happen. Until recently, there were two basic scenarios. One, in which the super smart computer decides the world is better off without humans and turns against us, Terminator style. The other, in which a powerful but essentially mindless AI system follows some poorly thought out instructions to the letter, heedless of the unforeseen and calamitous side effects. But now, thanks to a piece of timely research by researchers at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, a third scenario presents itself. AI will kill us through global warming because the neural networks used to train AI models use so much energy. The findings are the subject of a new MIT technological review article. <laughs> it goes on to detail the amount of energy that the Skynet computer system will need to function and calculates how large that carbon footprint will be and determines that that is what's gonna do us in. That certainly is a new one, but what's next? Are the millennials gonna blame global warming for the reason why they're not saving for retirement? Oh wait, what's this? Young people blame climate change for their small 401k balances. Many young people today think civilization may not exist when they're of retirement age, so they're not even saving. Stop listening to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, kids. She's a complete lunatic. And go pick up a copy of Anthony Robbins' book, Money, Mash of the Game, and learn how important it is to start saving for your retirement as soon as possible and learn the power of compound interest. Forbes magazine is wondering if toxic masculinity is the reason for global warming. This article is real, by the way, but after they published it, they got widely ridiculed, so they changed the headline completely and didn't even make a note of it. Now the new talking point is that white people are causing global warming while people of color are having to live with it. This from the London Guardian. Minorities in the U.S. breathe in more air pollution caused by white people. Black and Hispanic people are disproportionately exposed to air pollution produced by white people, a study analyzing personal consumption has found. We like to think that the way we live right now has no cause. Right. And we know that that is not true, right? We know that people, especially people of color, are dying daily from fossil fuel pollution, right? We know, especially people of color. We know how much liberals love to use the race card, and now they're even using it in the debate about climate change. Media Matters, the George Soros-funded organization determined to take down conservative media personalities, is upset that Facebook isn't censoring, quote, climate denial videos. Oh, how dare they allow people to doubt what the liberal agenda is saying. Of course, if you search for anything having to do with global warming or climate change or climate disruption or whatever they're calling it these days on YouTube, you get a carefully curated list of videos populating the top of the search results, all supporting man-made climate change and telling you that the deniers are wrong. They even put a link to the Wikipedia article up there at the top if you search for global warming. Meanwhile, Glacier National Park in northern Montana just took down some signs that had been up for over 10 years warning that by the year 2020, the glaciers would be gone because of global warming. And, well, they're still there, and there have been years now of heavy snowfall, and so they just quietly removed the signs and forgot all about their forecast. But Beto O'Rourke is still a true believer and is warning in several years entire countries will be uninhabitable. Soon enough along this trajectory, some of those countries will no longer support or sustain human life. The competition for resources in a warming planet is going to be absolutely fierce. So, so that to me is the singular challenge that we have as a country. Captain Planet, he's our hero. Livestreams himself getting a haircut because he's a weirdo. With CNN and MSNBC combined, I am Captain Planet! The white man is the devil, not mean. I apologize for my white privilege and that of others. 58 different genders aren't enough! Kim Jong-un, better president than Trump. Demonetize all conservative YouTube channels, they say. Trump is a Russian agent, yeah! We're at the point in this idiocracy when the mayor of New York City, best known for being a city of giant skyscrapers, wants to ban them. Because part of the 
problem here is that buildings got built that should never have been built to begin with if we were thinking about the needs of our earth. Some of them you can see right behind us in the background. And so we are going to introduce legislation to ban the glass and steel skyscrapers that have contributed so much to global warming. They have no place in our city or in our earth anymore. <laughs> We're either going to make it as a society and the future generations are going to look back at this moment in history and this incarnation of liberalism, the way that we look back on the doctors back in the 1950s who used to recommend that people smoke cigarettes to, you know, cure a sore throat. It's either that or we're going into the full idiocracy 1984 Twilight Zone crossover. I am going to continue to try to take all this madness as entertainment because there's really no way around it at this point. I'm just glad that it's summertime because I love warm weather. Thank you, Global Warming. And if you do too, I'm sure that you'll enjoy my I Love Global Warming shirt. Order yours from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below. And of course, it's available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. This shirt has two different listings on the storefront though, the white one and the black one because the darker shirts technically have a different print, otherwise the graphic would just blend right in with the fabric. So depending on what color or colors you want, you just click through the storefront a little bit and you'll be able to figure it out. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below which will bring you right over to the store and check them out.